Hey everyone, my name's Gunther and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. We are back in our zoo and we have uh, some things to do today. Uh, right off the bat, I do want to call it one thing. Uh, it's uh, been a little bit of a delay between this episode and our, our last episode. And part of the reason why actually I came down with a, uh, a little bit of a cold or a flu, I don't know. Uh, and I really didn't think you wanted to hear me uh, recording uh, a video when, uh, and you know uh, sniffling my nose at the same time. So I, I made the decision to kind of hold off on recording anything. Thing, and uh, that's that's why there's a little bit of a delay behind this and I do apologize uh, that being said in our last episode we really focus on building up our uh, wolf uh, enclosure and I'm actually quite happy with it uh, the big thing here is I, I did finally figure out how to uh, how to get this to work so uh, if you can actually see we do have a timber wolf on top right now and uh, part of the reason why was uh, we actually couldn't get them to go up right here so I had to kind of finagle some things uh, but they they do go up sadly though I haven't seen them come up on this rock on this like, little ledge yet. And, you know, maybe maybe it'll happen one day. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But uh, if I do see that happen, it will be pretty cool. Uh, interestingly enough, everybody's kind of hanging out inside the uh, the cave that we've uh, we've uh, created. Um, I, I don't know, you know, in hindsight, you know, thinking back, um, you know, I, I'm not very happy with this. I think we could have done a lot better. But I think that's the intent of this show or of this game is to really just uh, improve my skills. And, and what better way to do it than to create a journey uh, with all of you as well. Uh, today, uh, we have a few things like I mentioned. Number one is we're going to take care of some uh, some of our uh, maintenance aspects of our zoo. We have some things we want to kind of clear out. And then I think the next step, we are going to create our... Uh, for lack of better terminology, our veterinarian hospital. Uh, so we're gonna set this up and I'm thinking we're gonna probably set it up right around here. And I have uh, I have some ideas for how I wanna set up our veterinarian hospital slash a uh, kind of like a, um, a retreat for our uh, for our staff members. It's uh, we only placed it here temporarily just to kind of get us going. And I think now that we're uh, we have quite a money uh, quite a bit of the money in the bank, I think we're in a position where we can really kind of uh, do some things. Uh, now that being said, uh, the inspiration I'm taking for this is actually going to be um, a mix of two things. Uh, so both the Nashville Zoo and the Oakland Zoo have uh, some spectacular uh, veterinarian hospitals. Um, some of them are a little bit dated nowadays, but I think uh, the design is just really cool and I'm going to try to emulate it in this episode today and uh, that's going to be our goal our goal is not to create a habitat but rather uh, create a little bit of a better work area uh, for our staff now that being said uh, there are a few things that we need to take care of and I think number one if we need to take a look at our mechanic research we've actually re uh, hopefully researched quite a bit um, we are currently going through the new world theme and it's a good idea because I actually really want some of the the scenery and the and, and whatnot so uh, that's uh, what we're gonna go with today uh, on top of that uh, now that I got rid of that let's take a look at our vet research uh, should have gotten quite a bit um, our looks like our black-tailed prairie dog is fine so let's go for uh, our timber wolf uh, we've definitely unlocked everything here so uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with that uh, I do need to kind of play around I want to see if maybe we can implement some uh, some education aspects uh, again you know in hindsight maybe setting up our two exhibits like so not the greatest idea but hey again it's gonna be a learning experience for us uh, so let's figure this out now I did mention in episode one that I was not gonna pause the game my theory behind it was that you know in a real zoo you would never have the opportunity to to pause and uh and and go and, and live through but you know i think in hindsight uh the the reaction uh, the reality is um we just can't do that there's there's way too much that's happening on the screen at the same time and not pausing is is uh not detrimental so that being said we are gonna pause and we're gonna have to live with it and that's okay <laughs> it's an executive decision uh so we are gonna go ahead and set up our uh our veterinarian hospital now really there's a few places I could put it we have a lot of empty space right here and I don't really know what we can do my first thought was that we could kind of create a natural habitat so you know a zoo would attract a lot of uh, a lot of small animals to their uh, to their enclosures you know we would see things like uh, voles and mice and you know raccoons even though a raccoon is an animal that we can put in an exhibit and you know in Canada raccoons are a natural uh, a natural uh, animal you would sign you would find uh, out in the wilderness not just the wilderness you'd actually probably find raccoons in uh in major cities as well 
So something that I experienced, and you know, I really like this about the Toronto Zoo, is they have a very large natural wooded area, and uh, they they don't cultivate it in any way. They uh, they've left it to nature, and you know, the only time they ever really kind of make changes is when a tree falls down and it's maybe blocking the path through. But otherwise, they let nature take its path, and it's a really cool thought that they've created this natural habitat for uh, animals that you know we wouldn't naturally want to see in an exhibit. And you know, part of my thought was that we could kind of fill this in and, and you know, kind of do this same and have this nice path uh, that goes through a natural forest and you know maybe that's something that we can work in so we'll kind of use that and then we can use this as well as a natural barrier to kind of hide the uh, the veterinarian clinic but on the flip side now that I say that you know Something that I've always really enjoyed about zoos is being able to go and see uh, into the veterinarian rooms. And, you know, one thing that I've seen with a lot of examples and photos is, you know, they keep their vet clinics open. So there's a lot to do and I haven't really planned this out. So we're flying by the seat of our pants here and uh, we're going to have to we're going to have to live with that. So knowing this, what we're going to do is we are going to extend the path right here. Uh, we need to figure out. I can't remember uh, what I did. I think it was was it eight meters? Uh, no, I think it was six. There we go. <laughs> uh, we need to make sure that this is uh, a straight. I'm not a huge fan of uh, non-straight uh, non uh, paths. So we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we can kind of get that going. We'll, you know, we'll kind of extend out just a little bit. Reconnect something. Reconnect this. There we go. And I think we're going to work the path off here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this kind of uh, scoop up or loop up a little bit and then we'll kind of have it as an alternative path around the uh the, the wolf exhibit. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, toying with the idea of calling it uh, Wolf Rock, uh, Timber Wolf Rock. I think that that would be a kind of a, a cool name for a uh, an exhibit. Um, so I'm kind of toying with that as the uh, as the the natural name. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, I think it would be pretty cool. Maybe we can rebuild the mountain and uh, in incorporate that name into the mountain. I think that would be pretty, uh, pretty interesting looking. But we have our side path. And I think, you know, I'm going to stick with what I mentioned. We're going to fill this in with some natural natural forest right here and kind of create that natural habitat for uh, for you know uh, animals that we wouldn't actually normally see uh, at, a, at, a, uh, at a zoo now what we need to do hmm not happy with this actually hang on let's uh, let's let's fix this up a little bit There we go, we have a nice little path and then we have one that kind of goes straight off. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate the, the veterinarian clinic uh, here. And I think that's gonna make the most sense. Now, normally with a clinic, we would have a nice open, uh, a nice open plaza. So let's see if we can, uh, we can make that work. All right, I think that's I think that that's it. We're we're just gonna connect this. So we have our nice plaza, uh, and we are gonna create our veterinary clinic. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a longer one, so it might kind of branch out in a little bit. We might make it kind of like a an L shape. I'm kind of toying with that idea, uh, and then we will go from there. So uh, we're gonna utilize uh, as always a uh, normal uh, natural, uh, you know, s uh, speed up the process. Uh, so you can kind of see this again. I'm gonna warn you. This is gonna be my first time really building a real veterinary clinic, and I'm quite excited. About about that but uh you know i would love to see your uh, feedback on how it how it turned out how it looked uh things like that uh weirdly enough this uh this actually this path does not look straight to me <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and try to fix that out as well
All right, so for the for my first attempt, I'm um, I'm 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 okay with this. There's there's a few things I you know maybe I don't I just don't know how to do yet. Uh, there were more things I wanted to do. Really, you know, instead of having you know kind of like the metal roof, you know, I really wanted to have uh, I really wanted the designer my own, and you know maybe I'll play around with it and kind of create some blueprints in the future, and and maybe we'll go back and update this. The other thing I have to keep in mind uh, keep in mind is that in franchise mode I haven't unlocked everything, and uh, that's kind of a uh, Kind of something that's a, a little bit of a frustration. I can I can get that. The other thing that I'm noticing is that we have some uh, some artifacts kind of just phasing through, and I don't really know how to fix that. If if you do, please let me know. I, I would love to get that figured out. I do need to figure out something to do here. Uh, I really kind of want to get some like shadow uh, animals that we can kind of place on the side. My entire my entire thought was that you know you would have. Um, people could come come by and they could kind of look in you know in this case to the vet clinic and or the veterinarian room and and, and kind of look in uh one thing i totally uh failed to take into consideration um we need power and it was not built in a pa near power and so we kind of built this jerry rig thing right here uh but uh, you know what overall i think for my first attempt it's not too bad 
uh, I actually I, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of enjoying this. Um, let me know what you think though. Uh, let me know what you would like to see change. You know, uh, again, the pathing system is kind of something that I was struggling with. I'm really curious to see if they'll actually walk onto this. I don't know. Um, I, you know, I'd rather have something like this. Uh, there's a lot of space here. You know, I think like as we go by, maybe we can get some props and we can kind of kind of put some, uh, so, you know, prop animals up here and you know can kind of collect over time. You know, maybe we'll have on the back wall we'll have a wall, a memorial wall, so you know as animals unfortunately regrettably pass away, you know we'll be able to place them on the memorial wall so that we can always uh, remember who they are, things like that. Uh, so it's going to be an, an evolving building. Um, so I'm I'm excited to see what happens. You know. When I compare it to like kind of the reference photos, I'm kind of see where it comes. You know, it definitely you know uh, it leans more towards the Oakland Zoo uh, Veterinarian Hospital, uh, which is really cool. Um, you know, some things that I, I, I maybe in the future we'll kind of revisit is uh, they actually have these really cool doors, and you know, radiology would be right here, uh, and then you know you'd have. Um, each individual uh, operation room and it kind of like wrapped around in a little bit of an L shape uh, and you know maybe that's something that we can kind of consider doing in the future but overall I'm not too upset with this this is going to become our new our, our new main base uh, when it comes to our initial uh, vet clinics it is quite large now that I look about it um, but who knows maybe uh, it doesn't look too shabby uh, that's about it though um, in other news uh, you know we'll, we'll unpause the game we'll see how we're doing uh, we, we can actually get rid of uh, quite a few of, of these buildings uh, research center this uh, we can get rid of our quarantine room we can get rid of our uh, oh we don't have an animal trade center so maybe we'll have to go back in and revisit that but you know we're slowly moving everything over here and you know that's really that was our end goal that's that's what we wanted to achieve anyway um, we do need to kind of uh, drag some of these uh, these trees uh, around so let's uh, grab a few and we'll try to like duplicate them um, and then you know maybe we'll do uh, let's see here uh, oh, they don't have a, let's see here, and maybe, maybe we can make this work. <laughs> uh, you know, for something that's kind of jerry-rigged, you know, just kind of plopping it together, it's not too shabby. Uh, again, you know, I'm trying to keep in the consideration the fact that, like, you know, we're, we are in North America, we wouldn't have uh, trees outside of North America kind of, like, lingering about things like that uh but you know what it's uh i am i am quite happy with this it doesn't look half bad and uh you know at the end of the day you know for my first attempt I, you know i can't go wrong you know in in total i really only have i think i only have 60 hours in the game uh and it was all you know driven from the uh from the campaign and you know kind of just experiencing it uh but we are slowly uh we're slowly building it up um this this initial area now that I've kind of uh, thought about it not really happy with this I don't know what we're gonna do and I don't know how we're gonna salvage this uh, I don't know how we can kind of improve this without restarting the franchise and that's not something that we're uh, that we're really gonna do but we will wait and see uh, as always uh, please let me know what you think let me you know share your tips and your tricks and and anything else you feel that you want to you know you share my way uh, I don't I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot from an animal perspective in this episode but really just wanted to get this set up initially so that we can kind of take care of it and uh, as always uh, if you're feeling up to it subscribe I would love to you know to hear more about how I can improve and I, I, like I said at the end of the day this is in an effort to improve my ability and my skills playing Planet Zoo and what better way to do it and you know to have you join me on that journey uh, otherwise ciao for now everybody <laughs>